Well, howdy all you happy campers. This is Hunter Pruitt, otherwise known as the RV Hunter. I'm down here at McLean's RV. Very excited to showcase a toy hauler because there's so many folks out there that can really appreciate the versatility using that rear garage uh, for their toys, additional sleeping space, or even a secondary office. But most people complain there's not quite enough living space in them or the additional sleeping accommodations are kind of like this upper garage bunk, which is awesome for kids, but not really accommodating to those that are larger. I tell you all, nine of those things are a problem in this unit. This is the brand new 2024 Grand Design Momentum G-Class 415G. And this is Grand Design responding to those of y'all that love the 395 MS, but want it at a slightly more accessible weight and price point. That is what the G-Class Momentum line brings you. Just adjusting a few features, same bones that you love from Grand Design, still full-time rated. And this rig between this living area and this awesome kitchen is certainly rated for full-time use. Not only is it insulated, you're talking R40 in the roof, underbelly, R11 in the walls, but the tank size is 98 gallons of fresh water, 54 gray, and 108 black. That's substantial, y'all, because, I mean, you do have two bathrooms on here, but um, you are going to have to be a little bit mindful of the weight. You are talking, again, about a 3,400-pound payload. Um, again, right at sub-16,000 dry, 20,000 gross, because it's a triple axle. Um, but the living space here is something that is unmatched and really was only accessible with the 395 ms but you'd have to move recliners around either position them over by a dinette move some into the garage not in this one y'all these are fully stationary you can do a lot with these it was a bolt of the floor so i have folks that have been really interested in creating this a little office space because if you look at how much storage you get not only with this awesome entertainment center i'll go ahead and open up our lights are flickering a little bit because we're running just off of a little battery pack, but it's just fine because we got so much natural light from these huge windows. They can, uh, Grand Design makes sure to frame properly, full aluminum framing, four levels of seals. But on the G-Class Momentum, this, for instance, is one of the things that's just slightly modified from the full Momentum line. Is some people prefer it. Instead of the one-touch control panel, have all of the controls like in a traditional um, setting. You do have a generator on board. We'll get into that outside. It's a Yamaha generator. Uh, Move on from the Cummins Onan. Um, your fuel tank gauge, because you have 30 gallons of auxiliary fuel in the back that'll run the generator and help fuel up any toys. Awesome faux fireplace uh, that can more than heat at least this space. Um, getting back to the garage if you had the door closed. Back Hidden behind here is your Rockford Fosgate sound system. Wired throughout. I believe right at a 55, 60 inch Roku smart TV. And these recliners actually massage and heat still. Some of the solitudes have moved past that. These still do have a flush floor with thick lino, no more carpet, and also no linoleum that you find in other brands that just have a tiny little seam. This isn't gonna start bowing up um, extreme weather conditions. But again, when we were talking about even storage space in the kitchen, there is no shortage here, y'all. Something else new on 2024 Grand Designs, you have these awesome magnetic drawer catches just gives it an awesome tactile feel huge pull out pantry which when you're in this kitchen space getting stuff in and out of this massive norcold fridge that we have here you're really able to utilize every inch of this open concept living plan and storage up there before i open up the freezer but moving on into the kitchen, again, unlike a full momentum, we have the four burner uh, residential uh, stove and cooktop. This one is just a three burner, but it's still a cast iron cooktop. Here, three burners, deep oven, and still got the blue lights on it. Range, and not quite as large of a microwave, but again, when you talk about the cost savings and the just the floor plan that you get with this concept and the G-Class Momentum line, I think that those are two easy accommodations to make when you're getting the other benefits. We have a dish drying rack over the stainless sink, all undermounted. And then great storage up overhead. We like to in videos to show you what's behind every cabinet. And see, you just can get a feel for the flow that's in this floor plan. Actually a place to put your trash can, what a concept. See a plastic liner for the backsplash to help save on some weight. But no complaints there. And again, still super easy to clean. Actually, less grout. Solid wood. Bottoms there. And I love these little pullouts. I mean, you can just think of all the stuff you could put there. And then still a big bank of drawers. And man, I didn't realize how far back that went. 
what a great cavity just for anything you might need to take on down the road and if anything doesn't fit here remember you got 14 foot garage on this guy with it being full 45 feet but before we get into the namesake of the toy hauler I want to show you the rest of the living area because that's really something garages generally look the same you know but you want to make sure that you like the living and bedroom concept and there's not a lot not to like in this one the storage that you get in this bathroom these great medicine cabinets very very deep if you look i'm not exaggerating my arm i just lost it back there not getting it back deep sink still pour some toilet the flush undermounted uh the shower um that is actually a step-in shower it gives you tons of head height for perspective i'm six foot even I have plenty of room in here it is just standard shower curtain, but some people prefer that. I can't tell you how many people smash glass shower curtains or glass shower doors. This is super easy to wash and still got tons of storage down here. And then a fully adjustable, nicer upgraded shower head with little caddies along the side as well. Now as we go into this bed, I love a pass-through bathroom concept like this. It just makes, again, that flow that you find in grand design floor plans just has such a nice feel to it but more than capable closet have a his and her side along with a bank of drawers they are soft clothes too now by the way you can kind of see that no floor vents in any grand design uh, momentum or solitude fifth wheel all the heat ducts are side mounted with their patented even flow heat system makes it where you're not stepping down on something you can actually lay area rugs does a much better job of heating the space this is the king bed option if you opted for the queen there would be this same side table over there on that side up over the top and these little cubbies on either side really utilizing this front cap of this 45 footer and tons of storage beneath the bed something that they started doing i believe it's been about a year and a half but actually adding these little side windows allow you to get a cross breeze going and just wake up in the morning and soak up all those views of wherever you're at you're seeing at campground we have three acs on this bad boy with a racetrack ducted um, ac system slightly new um, thermostats and i love the controls on here very very simple easy to use um, but grand design in the momentum line was the first and might still be the only that could run two acs off 30 amp service because the soft starts installed that is huge for those of y'all going to state national parks not wanting to rely on a campsite maybe having 50 amp hookup because on a camper that's really anything over 40 feet you're going to need two acs to uh, cool this space and this isn't going to have a problem between the insulation rating and the three fifteen thousand btu acs but in the garage as we make you all dizzy from our strobe light effect here is very capable you're talking 14 feet back here with the sofas, the Happy Jack bed system lifts up and down, and so you can set this for the exact height you'd like. There's a table that stores up over the bed. These will lift all the way up. It's very simple to explain. It used to be that you'd have to pull out a pin in all four corners. It would be a pain to get to. Now you just flip this over in all four corners, and it disengages it from this uh, resting locked position. All electric, of course, over there on the wall, the second monitor panel. And when you raise this all the way up, these little pegs are going to bring it down until it hits the striker plate which is actually adjustable you can raise and lower this um, as well in all four corners uh, but then this bed will come all the way down and then you have a lower bed here on these new 2024s some people have commented on it doesn't look quite as fancy but i'll tell you i prefer this the other ones had these big headrests on them that if you were actually going to utilize this as a bed is not near as comfortable as this flush design what well, is the eye appeal it is way more practical and it's still high traction vinyl similar to the thomas Paine and um upholstery in the main living area you st still have grain designs three season garage doors with the glass that raise and lowers doors open super easy on either side and a whole patio rail system that makes out impossible for small children dogs to escape locks right in place and is one of the easier systems to set up wish that we weren't backed up to a building so i could show it to you um, but these uh, bed systems also come with cup holders. Heck yeah. Then we also have uh, washer dryer connections out here. Which is very nice. We can duct it right out the side so you can still get the vented washer dryer. You know, grand design, always accommodating. 
the whole family and Kurt, including the furry members. Nice little pet dishes. Fold up alongside the door. A little grand design emblem on it. Tie down straps are actually mounted to the frame. And then a capable half bath. Again, I'm six foot even. I've got plenty of leg room in here. It looks tight, certainly from the outside. But for what you're doing in here, it's more than capable. And have a nice little window, both to get a breeze going um, for obvious reasons and to enjoy a nice little view uh, when you're sitting back here in the garage. But y'all tell me, in terms of living space, some of the new features that Grand Design's doing, actually prepping a rear view camera here. But there's also, or excuse me, a garage view camera because it is already prepped for the rear view camera out the back and clearance lights. But there's some neat things also in terms of the safety aspect, right? Grand Design's been doing ABS brakes now, but they partnered with Dexter um, for a feature that I'll show you outside that's actually going to help with the sway, help with your overall braking and your stability when going down the road. But and I didn't want to focus on any of those mechanical things. Y'all can stay tuned and follow us on outside unless you like the inside. But again, there's not much to like. You got everything that you could ask for in terms of tankless water heater. Compared to a full blown momentum, you don't have a central vacuum and inline water filter or residential frameless windows. And it is electric compared to hydraulic slides. Some people prefer those items though. I like the non-residential frameless windows because I can open them um, and get a better cross breeze instead of the crank outs. I like having the electric leveling and electric slides because you don't have to worry about low voltage situations as bad um, and monitor your hydraulic fluid. There's pros and cons both ways. The key is to find the right floor plan for you and we've got the facility and the brand to do it in with brands like Grand Design that are coming out with innovative floor plans like this. But let's jump into some of the outside stuff. Um, I want to focus on some tankless water heaters and that sort of thing. But before we even go outside the door, something that catches you right off the jump is this uh, screen defender. That's a few hundred dollars, but Grand Design's already including it, protecting your screen, whether or not it is little ones that are going to tumble on out. Or again, the furry family that might get a little anxious if somebody comes to the door. Or you notice this really nice improved grab handle the more ride safety rail very solid and then the window by the way is already thin shade ready which is great that grain design already does that because otherwise we have to replace the entire window and with it already being thin shade ready you can just pop it right in through our parts department and spray port here the hose off your steps or your feet before going on in great storage area for a toy hauler at least it is a pass-through. A lot of toy haulers, this is completely blocked off and you're only reliant on the storage in the back. This one's actually accessible. I'll show you two things though here. There is a new battery disconnect um, switch with Grand Design's new electrical system. And then, but they also have a solar disconnect. Because before, if you had the battery disconnected, the solar wasn't going to charge the batteries. Now you can cut off the power to the rig while still keeping the batteries charged. Still already prepped for the tire link, uh, your tire pressure monitor system. Here's a little hose um, that goes right there. And then outside TV connections with an additional outlet. Two 30 pound propane tanks balanced on both sides. It's a small thing, but after being in the RV industry for five years, I can't tell you how helpful this hook is right here. Instead of having to wind it up all over this, just setting that seven way plug right there makes a world of difference. Now here is something that's going to be unfamiliar to a lot of y'all. This is a new generator from Yamaha. Grand Design partnered with Cummins, did uh, testing um, between the Cummins and the Yamaha. And their partnership with Yamaha is now because this is a quieter generator. It is more efficient. Everybody knows Yamaha too. Uh, name is recognizable as Cummins um, in the industry. But this technology is going to allow the coach to run a lot better. Still run all the systems just like it would um, on the Cummins zone. And, but um, inside here, you have plenty of space to upgrade a battery bank. A little bit different liner um, if you're looking at them every day, um, you can tell. And then a little light for your front cap. Slide it all up. It is one touch auto leveling despite the leveling system being electric, uh, where again the full momentum is a hydraulic leveling system. Your one touch auto leveling control is right here. But when I was discussing the ABS and the anti sway, Grand Design is starting to include this Dexter tow assist which just really helps when going down the road, keeping it from swaying behind you and actually applying the brakes accurately. Now on Grand Design Momentum and Solid 2 lines, your low point drains are actually enclosed here next to the rest of your Nautilus pump station. This is crucial for those of y'all actually doing true four seasons cold weather camping. Uh, your tank valves are also fully enclosed inside here. 
um, and whether or not you are dry camping connected to city water, it's super simple. Just match up the diagram, follow the instructions on the Nautilus system, and you're ready to get camping. 50 amp power cords right in there, furnace exhaust, exhaust for uh, your generator. The wall up underneath here, I always like to point out how Grand Design actually lines this. No plastic liners. You can actually tell how well Grand Design laminates and insulates their slide and side walls. Here's your tankless water heater back here. The main dump for your uh, kitchen front bathroom, this is for your second um, half bath in the uh, washer dryer. Three axle camper, you have Cooper H rated um, tires. The Moride CRE 3000 suspension, gonna take three inch potholes in stride. Black tank flush, and here's your 30 gallon auxiliary fuel tank here. Electric pump and gauge. Your vents, so that you don't expose the kids to noxious fumes. Uh, we're putting them to bed back there in the garage with the toy getting taken out and then we have this new rear patio it is all gas assisted it comes right down and we'll have to do a follow-up video showing y'all what that patio actually looks like put out because grand design's new rail system all the way around is very nice armless awning there though led tail lights you actually have this awning in the main area uh, with the floodlight over it so you could do a lot of entertaining back here or you have it separated. It would be really redundant to put a third awning right here in the middle because most of it's gonna be taken up by the slide anyways. So giving you the shaded space in the front and the rear where at your entry points, just makes more sense. But yeah, I would say it's a beast because I mean, it's 45 feet and the layout feels that way, but really weight wise, it's accessible. And so is the price point. And so y'all, as we go into, or we're closing out the end of the year, uh, closing out 2023, which has been great thanks to y'all. Um, partnering with us to create some lifelong memories. This is a unit that going into the spring and summer months, you could really get some great memories out of. So come down and see us um, at any of our five McLean's locations. Again, my name is Hunter Pruitt, the RV Hunter, and this was the 2024 Grand Design Momentum 415G. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, stay happy camping.